So there's a whole lot of bad stuff going on in the world right now. And I think people are losing some perspective. And I think one of the things they're losing perspective on is what they can actually control in their lives. There was an author back in the day, uh, Jim Allen, a picture of him on my computer right now. You can look him up on Wikipedia lived 1864 to 1912, and among the many things that he wrote, very philosophical stuff, and one of the things he wrote was the list of the 10 things in life that you can control. And I have that list, and I'll put a link in the description where you can go and download this list and print it out, put it on your bulletin board, spread it around, because I think people need to hear this message again. So the 10 things in life that you can control by Jim Allen. Number one, what you do. Your actions are yours alone. You choose to make them or not make them, and you are responsible for the effects of those actions, not other people. What you say. The words you speak or write are also consciously chosen. Like actions, they have an impact on your life and the lives of those who you contact. So I take that right now to say, don't say things online that you would not say in person. Number three, what you think. Yes, there are some subconscious thoughts that you can't control, but the things that you really think about, that you spend your time thinking about, your beliefs, your ideals, the concepts that you have chosen to accept and believe in, are things that you have chosen to spend your brain power on. Number four, your work. Many people overlook this one, and it's easy to say, I'm trapped in this job that I hate because I don't have a degree, or I don't have experience, or I don't live where the jobs are, or whatever. Uh, but that's all hogwash. You know, the simple way of, that's of denying somebody's responsibility in having chosen the job in the first place, and it's your job. You chose it, and you stayed in it. Nobody put a gun to your head and said, you have to flip these burgers or else. No. If it's not going right, quit and move on. Number five, the people you associate with. There's a famous T-shirt that states, it's hard to soar like an eagle when you're surrounded by turkeys. It's very correct. Your friends either lift you up or bring you down. Somebody else said that uh, you are the average of the five people that you spend most of your time with. And you've made the decision to spend the time with those people. Number six, your basic physical health. Much of our health is a factor of genetics and environment and things like that. But much more of our health is simply a matter of the things that we choose. Diet, exercise, drugs, sleep, going to the doctor, things like that. Number seven, the environment you live in. Your house, the condition of your home, the town you live in, the amenities available to you are all things you can control. The control is maybe to somewhat of a degree, because maybe you can't control those things, but you can either tolerate them or you can move. Pick up and move. Number eight, your fiscal situation. Having or not having enough money is a factor of what you make versus what you spend. If you want more money, you need to work more or work smarter or work harder. And if you don't seem to have any money after doing that, maybe you're spending too much money. It's very simple. You're in, you're in control of your fiscal situation. Number nine is your time. You choose how to spend your own time. We all have 24 hours in a day allocated to us. And everything that you spend time doing is something that you have chosen to do. And you have chosen to spend time doing that and chosen not to spend time doing something else. You chose it. And the final one, number 10, is your legacy. All your actions, words, and knowledge that you share while you are living become the gift that you leave when you are gone. Now, these words, again, aren't my own. Jim Allen wrote those. But um, 
I like to think that some of these words can be part of my legacy in helping people to understand that they're in control. You know, the whole world seems like it's spinning out of control right now. But if you pause and you think about what you can control in your life, I think we'll be in a little bit better position to deal with things. So that's just my two cents. Again, there'll be a description, uh, a link in the description. You can download a copy of this for yourself. Email it, share it, share this video, hit like, hit subscribe. Um, hope you all stay safe and we'll get through this. I know we will.